Hey y'all, welcome back to Technique by Cowboy. Today we're going to go over some key elements of how to strengthen and fix a standing tuck. Now, standing tucks are used all across the boards in tons of different aspects by different people in different genres. We are focused more on the cheerleading aspect of what we teach technique in cheerleading. However, the movement of this shape is going to relate to anything else that you do. So, I've identified some key placement from beginning to pull to end and shape, speed, strength of your standing tuck that you can work on outside of the gym safely in your home. Now, when you do that, make sure that you have parent supervision or you have a coach that has cleared you to be working on standing tucks so that you are in the right place practicing the right thing, right? Safety is number one. Progression also has to happen the right way. So, like I've said before, this is not a full on how to do a standing tuck. You watch this video, you try it for the first time in your backyard, that's probably not going to work out. What this is, is aiding in developing the correct strength, speed, and shape to progress your standing tuck faster and give you a better result in the end. Okay, so to help me out with our standing tuck drills, I got Nicole to stay after practice. Wait, say hi. Um, and Nicole used these drills about a year ago. She was struggling with the standing tuck, and we got everything to be super strong, solid now, and I'm going to show you through some of the drills that you can work on to get your body to move the same way. Now, the very first part of a standing tuck, probably the most important part, is your entry. So we go off of a very specific set of movements. You sit, then swing, then jump. And this aligns your body into the correct place at the right time to be able to push your body not only up into the air, but open your shoulders at the right angle at the top. So we're gonna break these steps down first so you can try this at home. She's centering her weight over her toes, so when she sits, she's still upright. Chest is up, hips are down, arms are straight. Then we go to our swing position. Her arms go to the back of her ears to where her body is standing up but opening over the top. And then we finish with the jump position to push up through the arms to carry your body upward and open at the very top up onto an elevated surface. Now we're using a panel mat. You can use anything you would like. If you have a couch cushion or a mattress or uh, an air track at home, anything works. So now we're gonna connect these three movements into a fluid set drill. So we're gonna sit, swing, jump up onto the mat. Very good. Now, as this is happening, you have checkpoints, things that we need to look out for. If you're setting and your body is literally moving backwards, we do not want to carry distance backwards. We want to push our body up and open an angle at the top, not physical direction to move backwards. Nicole, will you show them one time um, a set drill where your hips are behind you so that your body is getting pulled the incorrect way? And in that, you can see where her hips are leading her the wrong direction. This is something that you want to avoid when you're practicing at home. Make sure that you can feel the correct movement and shape, and make sure you have somebody like a parent or a coach or somebody to be able to look with you and identify these incorrect movements. All right, now for the physical movement of the tuck, we need to define the shape that we're going to rotate in and then strengthen it using different core drills. So I've set Nicole here. You can do this on any carpet, any grass, any soft surface. You're gonna sit with your knees at a 90 degree angle, your hips at a 90 degree angle, with your arms not just above, but behind your ears, and then keep your chest hollow. This means pushing your rib cage backwards to see just a slight bend pushing your belly button to your spine. Now, this is a correct tuck shape. Once we've identified and are able to hold a correct tuck shape, then we put this into motion. This is what I call tuck rocks. It's basically turning your body into a human rocking chair in the shape of a back tuck. So I'm gonna ask Nicole to shift her body weight from her feet to her shoulders and drive her shins parallel to the wall behind her and then push that tuck shape up without physically changing the shape at all. We're just moving it. Once she pauses at the top with her hips over her shoulders, we're gonna rotate back to our heels in the exact same shape. Go ahead. Very good. Now, if you notice this, we're gonna go ahead and just do five tuck rocks back and forth. So as you notice her shape moving, her legs and her hips are never changing shape. She's not pulling her knees into her chest. She's pushing her hips through her shins towards the wall behind her to not only strengthen the shape using her cores, her legs, her abs, her back, everything, but she's also increasing the speed of the rotation, which is gonna make her standing tuck much easier, faster, and stronger. Okay, now that we've learned the entry, or set, and our tuck shape within movement, we're gonna practice something that allows you to connect those two movements safely at your own house. So, all we're gonna do is take that same set, sit, swing, jump drill that we did before up onto this panel mat, and then we're gonna add the tuck rock. So as Nicole lands, her body will already be shifted to that back angle because of her set, and then she will sit back 
onto the mat and then drive her shins up over the top to initiate the rotation of this drill. Go ahead. Very good. Now, as you notice, her tuck shape never changed. Knees are not pulling to the chest. Shins are driving up and over in the rotation. She has a good sit swing jump. Her direction is still moving up. The angle is slightly shifted at the shoulders, not through the hips. And her body rolls smoothly through this tuck shape. Now, this is just reiterating to your body how crucial it is to find a correct sit position, to find a correct swing position, to find your jump position, and then be able to connect a correct tuck shape in movement for strength and speed to add on after that step. All right, so we have two more drills that are gonna help you become stronger and faster actually physically moving this tuck off of your jump and get a faster tuck pull right off the ground. So Nicole is on an elevated surface, so her toes are below her hips. Her arms are by her sides. This is where she's going to start. This is where we implement the swing position of this drill. So her arms are gonna to go to her ears against the mat, and then we're going to pull her tuck up over the top, driving the shins to the back wall. Now, go ahead and connect that for me one more time fast. Fast hands, big push. So this is when we start to gain strength in our shape with correct movement and adding speed. When we can add strength and speed together, this is when our skills not only become easier, but look much better. All right, so for our final drill, now this is something that's a little bit more physically difficult, and it is not the exact specific movement of what your tuck will do. However, it is going to strengthen your core and your abs in the motion of a tuck way more because of the resistance factor. Now, we're using a pull-up bar up on the wall. It's just anything ordinary you can get at any store in your house. You can also uh, use bars at school or at your gym or whatever you're using. So Nicole's gonna grab up onto the bar, find her position, hang to where her body is fully extended down and her knees are already starting bent. Now, the average knee raise, what a person would do, is just to lift your legs up. This is a good ab strengthening exercise, but it does not replicate the shape of how we move in a tuck. So what I'm gonna ask her to do is not lift her knees, but to drive her shins, not up, but up and over, the same way that our tuck moves. Go ahead and do that for me, Nicole. Very good. So as you see, her toes are pulling, which is that speed off the ground that we look for in our tuck, and repeating this over and over helps to build strength, helps to build speed, and will make your tuck flip from the ground easier to make it more consistent. All right, YouTube, hopefully the drills that we've given you today will help benefit you quickly and easily. They're things you can work on at your house. Um, I wanted to say thank you to Nicole, give her a little bit of a shout out for helping us out with her standing tuck. And I just want you to see, after all these drills, a completed version of our standing tuck. Very good. Strong set, awesome shape, rotates very well. And this is something that was, like I said, difficult for her at the beginning, but she worked and worked and then continued to progress this skill the right way. And now it looks fantastic. Thanks for tuning in to Technique by Cowboy. Keep putting in that hard work and I know those skills are gonna come. Now, if you like what you saw, press the like button below and please subscribe to our channel so you can see future videos. If you have a question, put it in the comments. Ask me, what can I do to make this skill better? Or I have a problem with this part of this skill and I'll come back next week with a video on how to make that better for you. So, I'm Cowboy, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week.